In these next set of questions, we're talking about normative versus positive statements. Uh, these questions are taken from Kruger Wells, Microeconomics, Chapter 2, Question 15. So uh, in this question, the mayor, you're the mayor, or the mayor of Gotham City, worried about a potential epidemic of deadly influenza this winter, asks an economic advisor the following series of questions. Determine whether a question requires an economic advisor to make a positive assessment or a normative assessment. So first off, what's the difference between positive and normative? So positive economics is the branch of economic analysis that describes the way the economy actually works. So forecasting uh, fits under usually yeah fits under positive statements or assessments. Normative economics makes prescriptions about the way the economy should work. So it's kind of a value statement. So taking uh, to kind of explore these ideas, let's go through some examples. Uh, how much vaccine will be in stock in the city at, by the end of November? So this is a positive statement because the economists can make a forecast based on their expectations of uh, how much of the vaccine is going to be taken up. B, uh, if we offer to pay 10% more per dose to the pharmaceutical companies providing the vaccines, uh, will they provide additional doses? So once again, this is another uh, positive statement because the economists could simply ask them or deal with them or for, in some way forecast whether or not the pharmaceutical companies will, will act uh, based on increasing um, their, how much they, they offer to the pharmaceutical companies. Uh, so positive statement. Uh, C, if there is a shortage of vaccine in the city, whom should we vaccinate first, the elderly or the very young? Um, and then here's just a little like assumption to the side. So this is clearly a normative uh, statement or normative economic assessment. Um, there's kind of no right or wrong answer in terms of like a forecast or a model. This is a very much, the answer to the question is based on values, uh, uh, who the, these people prefer or, or not who would they prefer, but, but which of these two groups has more value or, or some balance of the two things. Um, part D, if the city charges $25 per shot, how many people will pay? So this is a positive, uh, this requires a positive assessment because the economists could simply uh, kind of do an estimate based, uh, you know, estimate the demand curve for these vaccinations uh, to estimate the quantity um, of people who will demand vaccinations at $25 per shot. So clearly something forecastable. Uh, e on the other hand, if the city charges $25 per shot, it will make a profit of $10 per shot, uh, money that can go to pay for inoculating poor people, people who would otherwise be unable to pay. Should the city engage in such a scheme? Uh, this is a normative statement because it doesn't really have, I mean, in the sense that uh, uh, the economists can't say, like, can't, can't make a statement on the value of that to people, um, it's a normative statement, like, uh, um, the value or the answer to this question depends on whether or not you want to inoculate poor people at a discount or for free. Um, so the merits of the scheme or the statement of the city should or should not uh, isn't something the economists could kind of run a forecast or make a, a positive statement. So uh, party is definitely normative. Uh, thanks. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, have a good day. Bye.